Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an on-the-fly review for you. And today I'm talking about Soul, released exclusively on Disney+, Plus, uh, which nobody at Disney wanted to happen. This is the latest Pixar <laughs> film, as directed by Pete Docter, the genius behind films like uh, Inside Out, Up, yeah. and Monsters Incorporated. Uh, and it stars Jamie Foxx Tina, and Tina Fey and John Ratzenberger. Now, it's an uncredited, god hey, darn it, Uncredited cameo and uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he just has like one line, but it's it's not an official Pixar movie unless Ratzenberg does the voice. Basically, the setup to this movie is Jamie Foxx is the voice of of a high school or of a middle school music teacher who uh, on the on the day of his big break, uh, an audition to have an opportunity to do a show with. A musician that he idolizes, he dies. Um, uh, refusing to accept ha. this, um, he um, uh, uh, decides to basically ha. escape the afterlife ha. with the help of a lost soul that has never been born due to the fear of fear of life, uh. named Twenty Two. And the story goes from there. Uh, there's body swapping. There's goofiness. Hi. There's big lessons about. The beauty of life and taking joy in the little things, which is sweet and nice and really saves the movie. But I felt the film had took a long time to get going. I thought, uh, you know, it wasn't as funny as a lot of other Pixar movies. And I kind of felt like the music was a bit generic. You know, jazz is an acquired taste. I mean, I kind of like jazz, but I mean, a little goes a long way. <laughs> Anyway, um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give Pixar, I'm gonna Pixar, I'm gonna give Soul four stars. I think it's just kind of middle of the road for Pixar. I mean, where it's way better than films like the Car sequels or uh, Finding Dory or even The Good Dinosaur, which I thought was a little unappreciated. Uh, could, well, could you maybe not try to, to just ruin my phone for four seconds here? Say hi. See how she doesn't want to talk? Hey. That's what I gotta deal with. Hi. Can't take direction, hey. but you're not on cue. Gotta work hey. on your cue. Anyhow, uh, I also, personally, I think films like Ratatouille, Wally, -E, uh, what's the other one? Finding Nemo, Hi. way overrated movies. Uh, I, mean, I, I downright don't like those movies. They're not good films. Uh, but, you know, yeah, this doesn't hold a candle to films like, you know, the the Toy Story films, or especially the, the first three, or The Incredibles, which is one of my favorite cartoons of all time. Uh, but yeah, still a fun movie, still a good time, still nice heart, and a, and a solid family film. And even though being, you know, an hour and 50 minutes, pretty long for a cartoon, uh, had a decent pace to it. I did have a bit of a problem that because, it, this happens sometimes, I know it's a bit of a gimmick and stick a lot of studios do now. But when a movie starts with a prologue and then has no opening title, you kind of get the sense that you're stuck in permanent prologue. You know what I mean? Anyhow, I hope you all like this video. Hope you enjoyed seeing me being abused by my one-year-old daughter. Anyhow, I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly. <laughs> you're not going to say it. She's going to say it as soon as I push stop. Tattoo fly. <laughs> I tricked her. <laughs>